In this question, we're given a frequency chart and we have to determine the distribution if it's uniform, bell-shaped, skewed right, or skewed left. Now, uniform is going to look basically like a rectangle. We'll, we'll see that one soon. Bell-shaped, it sort of looks like what we have here, except on here, there's some extra values on the left. So this is going to be skewed. Now, if you look, most of the values are between 3 and 6 right here, these three columns. And there's some extra values on the left. So these are what we call, um, they may not officially be outliers depending on, on our computations on the values, but they're definitely values that there's extra values on the left. There's not something equivalent over here on the right side. If there was uh, two bars about the same size over here on the right, this would basically be bell-shaped. But there's two extra bars on the left that are not balanced off on the right. So this is what we call skewed. Now, which way is it skewed? There's extra stuff on the left, so it's skewed left. So again, these extra values on the left, uh, it's going to be skewed left. Now, to me, this one's a little hard to remember because when I look at this, it looks like there's more stuff on the right, which there is more stuff on the right. But what this really means is most values are going to be over here on the right. But there's some random values way out here on the left, and that's what are called, these values are what's skewing things right here. So most of it would be all nice grouped together, but then there's some extra values hanging out here on the left, and it always looks like small bars off to one side that are not balanced on the other. So this is skewed left. Now I'm going to regenerate this question several times. So I'm going to go new version here. So this looks almost the same. That would be skewed left again. Submit. Uh, I want one that looks, oh, perfect. All right, that's what I was hoping for. So this has a bunch of values here, but then there's a few extra values over here on the right. So this one's going to be skewed right because there's a couple of these uh, values that are not balanced out on the other side. So that's skewed right. Submit. All right, I'm going to regenerate this question until I see something different. This would be another skewed. Okay, good. So this one, there's more balance. Yeah, there's some values off on the left, but they're balanced by ones off on the right. So this one's actually not skewed. The fact that it's not perfectly even, it doesn't need to be perfect. There's a few more here, a few less here, but overall it's pretty balanced. And when it's balanced and goes from small, like low to high to low again, it's what we call a bell-shaped curve. And you, it looks sort of like a triangle or like a pyramid if you look at it. It's never going to be perfectly straight up the sides and it's never going to be, it could be perfectly balanced, but usually not. So that's bell shaped. I'm going to generate a new version. Oh, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. This does not look like a bell. This looks much more like a rectangle. So there, you're equally likely to see a, something between one and two as you are to see a middle value between three and four or four and five. So this right here is not bell-shaped because they're uniformly distributed across the whole um, set of values on the bottom. So in this one, we call this uniform, and it looks mostly like a rectangle. 